that one Graham here. Well, by now, most people in the world know that Steve Jobs is dead. Now, he's the founder of the Apple Corporation. He's responsible for the iPhone, the iPod, iPads, and lots of other things. It's uh, sad that he died so young. I think it was only 56 of uh, pancreatic cancer. It's way too young. He should have been around for another 30 or 40 or 50 years. Imagine the changes he would make for the world. You know, I love my iPhone. iPod is great. You know, it's very sad. However, did you hear about the jokes about his uh, uh, time of his death? I know I shouldn't say any jokes, but they're out there. They are there. So some people are saying, you know, why did Steve Jobs die um, at this, this week? Well, because he saw the... <sighs> sorry, sorry, Steve. Because he saw the presentation of the iPhone 4S. <laughs> it wasn't an iPhone 5, it was a 4S and he died. Sorry, Stevie. Anyway, he changed the way we communicate, changed the, the way phones worked. That's pretty cool. And the way we use music in, iPhone, in the um, iPods. I use his technology, I love his computers. Uh, there were some flops for the Apple Corporation, like the Apple III computer, but it's only a stepping stone for other greatness. So he's left a wonderful legacy. <sighs> so how does the life of Steve Jobs change your life? It uh, has made, allows, it has allowed me to communicate with my friends a lot easier. Uh, I love computers too. Hey, anyway, my friends, think about that. Take care. Stay safe. Bye for now. Yes, I know. Let my hair grow fuzzy, furry. <laughs> Bye for now. Write me, comment me, love me, and subscribe.